Describe why a capital gain event is attractive for a Section 12J investor. So, so a capital gain event is really attractive for a 12J investor and the reason for that is, is capital gain sits outside of normal taxable income. So if you, earn, if you sell an asset for 200 Rand and it had a base cost of 100, your capital gain is 100 Rand. In order for that to get into taxable income, there's an inclusion rate. I'll go back to Dino's example he used earlier. We'll use it for an individual at a 45% marginal tax rate. Therefore, the inclusion rate into taxable income implies 40%. So therefore, of the 100 Rand gain that's taxed is 40 Rand. So what that does is then you apply the 45% onto the 40, means he has to pay tax of 18 Rand on that gain. What it does is because of the arbitrage that you have of including 40% from a capital gains event, the investor only has to invest 40 Rand in a 12J in order to shield the tax of 18 Rand. What that allows is he's got liquidity and cash in his pocket of 160 Rand, a 12J investment of 40 Rand, and he didn't pay tax on that event um, due to using the 12J uh, mechanism. So I think maybe to contrast that example to a normal salary, if you had an investor who earned a salary of 100 Rand in a year, they could very well make a Section 12J investment and benefit from the same economics at the underlying level as someone who's got a capital gain. The difference is that with the person who had a 100 Rand salary, they would have a full 100 Rand inclusion in taxable income for that salary. So in order to offset that tax, they would have to put 100 Rand in a 12J. Absolutely fine. The problem is that individual has now got no cash left over to live off. In Jonti's scenario, where you have CGT, you sold your business for 200 Rand, you put 40 in a 12J, you didn't pay any tax, and you've still got 160 Rand in residual cash flow in your back pocket to go and make more investments, or do with as you please. And that's really where we've seen a lot of investors find 12J to be very attractive. We've seen people sell businesses, we've seen people sell properties, we've even seen people who want to reweight their share portfolios. It's become quite popular. You've seen with certain of the big corporates in South Africa that have grown you know, exponentially over the years, some investors inadvertently have become too exposed to a single investment, but they don't necessarily want to reweight their portfolios because doing that would result in a big capital gains tax event. With 12J, what investors are now able to do is to realize some of the proceeds from that investment and instead of paying the tax over, they make a 12J investment and with the excess proceeds, they're able to go and make other investments in their share portfolios as they see appropriate. Surely it's not good enough to just invest for tax purposes. So I agree. And we at Westbrook, we have the view that the investor should understand what they're investing in and the underlying investment case, because to make an investment just for tax purposes isn't the right way to look at it. And, and we said in this way, 12J, no matter which 12J you're investing in, has tax risk. And you must obviously assess the ability of the asset manager to comply with the regulations. They invest within the spirit of the act and all the host of kind of things you need to tick to make sure that tax benefit remains for the investor. But then there's also the investment risk. And again, this goes to track record of the asset manager, the type of investment mandates that they define that they can invest in, the, the underlying investment, is it asset backed, is it in growth businesses, is it in venture capital businesses, understand really what you're investing in and how your returns are being generated. Um, and I think there's, there's a whole host of things, how, who the investment committees are, who the board of directors are, compliance officers, auditors are all key things that should be assessed when assessing a 12J investment. Because again, to invest for tax, yes, you, you're getting some benefit by getting the tax refund, but you still have some capital at risk and therefore should really put some time into understanding who you're investing with because it is a five-year investment.